Hey, good morning, everyone. So, um, I, if some of you may remember uh, earlier last year, whenever I shared with you one of the devotionals that I was looking at starting for our group, and so um, we decided to go with Unglued at that time, but I feel like we're ready uh, to go into this one. I'm so excited about sharing it with you. For anyone who was not here with the group whenever I first shared this one, I'm going to read the introduction uh, for you so you kind of know where we're going and some of the motivation behind starting this devotional. And um, I hope that it will excite you and you know just get you revved up for the days to come as a group we're kind of in this in between time uh, we will officially begin um you know a, we normally call it prep week uh, and we will officially begin our next 21 day countdown uh, on the 8th of february and um, possibly have some newbies coming in by any time between the 8th and the 15th. So get ready for that and be ready to welcome them in with open arms and encourage them as they are starting on their own health and fitness journey and also looking for developing their spiritually developing strength as well. So um, I hope that this group continues to be a blessing to you. Let's get started in today's reading. Okay, so the introduction to Living Life Undaunted, 365 readings and reflections from Christine Kane. And again, if you don't follow her yet, you should. Um, find her on Facebook, Twitter. She's, um, she's an awesome. So it's been said that we are shaped by our thoughts. If this is true, can you imagine where one healthy thought can lead each day? Life is hectic and busy at times, but I've learned that one simple thought can center and align my heart for the day. I've used devotional readings to reset and recalibrate my mind each morning, and I believe they can do the same for you. As the Word of God has brought health, wholeness, healing, and life to this once very broken woman, I want you to know the same freedom that I have found. If I were still broken, wounded, and rejected, I would have no power to preach goodness to the poor. If I had not found freedom, how could I shine a light for others to find theirs? If I were still brokenhearted because of my past, how could I help to heal someone else's broken heart? And if I were still in captivity, how could I possibly proclaim liberty to others? The same is true for you. No one is immune to the attacks of the enemy, but we all can be more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Living life undaunted is strategically laid out to walk through the four quarters of the year and can be started at any time. The first quarter lovingly confronts our own brokenness while trusting God in the process of healing. The second reveals God's unconditional love for us and helps us learn to become more like Christ. The third challenges us to seek wholeness as well as to reap a harvest in our own lives as we grow in faith. And the fourth calls us to minister to others, seek the lost, and make a difference in the world. We have been loved, rescued, healed, and restored so that we may live powerful, fruit-bearing lives. I believe one year of healthy daily thoughts can reap a great spiritual harvest in our lives. So my prayer as you read this book, is that you'll begin to live in the fullness for which you were created, that you'll live life undaunted. And it's signed, Christine Kane. So the definition of undaunted, we're going to look at that over the next several days. We're going to look at um, some, we're going to continue to look at some best practices for success and mindset and uh, establishing and maintaining and continuing the momentum in our in our healthy uh, eating and fitness goals but we're also going to be digging deeper in with the help of this devotional into this freedom that uh, she is wanting to expose us to and share share with us so that uh, we can walk in it so I'm so excited to begin this with you. I love you all and can't wait to get started.